These days, scenes like this are a rarity. Oh, right over the top. With all the distractions of mobile devices, computers, video games, getting outside just not an option. But Karen Metzger wants to change that. Voted Ohio Person of the Year by the Outdoor News, she runs Lakes and Trails, an organization dedicated to getting kids and their families back into the great outdoors. We teach conservation, we teach, we want, we want them out boating, we want them out fishing, we want them to get them outside, not sitting in front of a video game at home. Twice a year, Lakes and Trails runs camps on Leesville Reservoir in Carroll County. Kids hand over their phones, give up their gaming consoles, and do things like fishing, lure making, hiking, you name it. If you can do it outdoors, you can probably do it at the Lakes and Trails camp. There was a fish that came like up to it, and I was like, okay. Volunteer instructors, experts in their fields, make the camp go. Tournament angler Bill Miller is one of them. He and the other instructors say forging family ties is what it's all about. The adults are learning right along with the children, so they get a chance to take these things and maybe the father or the, or the mother does these things with their son or daughter and now they have, it, it, creates, it creates a bond there. It smells really good. Cut it open, cut that one. Okay. Cook what you catch. The camp provides outdoor cooking lessons along with instruction in fly tying, casting, boating, lure making. Dan Stadler is with the Ohio based TV show The Outdoor Option. Just yesterday we were at a, a lure making camp um, where they actually make the lures, and then one little boy used his lure to catch a big muskie. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. And his like face and enthusiasm and energy just was infectious, and it was just incredible to see the transformation of that young man. And that's what it comes down to, kids having fun outdoors, like they used to. I love like everything about it. It's fun, and there's like a lot to do. Like, I didn't know how to fly fish before, but now I do. And when you see someone catch their first fish on a lure that they made that weekend, or, you know, someone shoot their first pheasant, or go canoeing for the first time, it's in the smile on their face. It's just, it's so rewarding. It feels awesome. Here, let me hold your hand here, right? No, Dude, that's second. Awesome. That's huge. Wow. That's, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. We're getting oh, this mountain.